Ah, oh, dinky do everyone. A very, very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live, Sunday evening. Nothing gets past me. Lots and lots to talk about tonight. So I hope you'll get yourself sorted out and come and join us big style, because we have a lot to get through, and you know how quickly the time goes. So there you go. Welcome, 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 I say. It's just me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live right now just for you saying dinky do so there we go i'll move back a bit and give you a bit of a fighting chance how's that there we are that's much better isn't it they're excellent stuff i'll just there we go that's us sorted welcome 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 i say sunday evening and it's the scotty McClure show show number 111 there's julianne scott hello scotty hello there to the mills family excellent dinky do lovely to have you with us and so much to get through tonight now i've got subjects for tonight and uh, i'd like to talk about the smacking of children there's a talk of a complete and utter ban on it so there you are a complete and utter ban on smacking children now since the 2003 act you haven't been able to use an implement so there you are but at the moment there is a reasonable chastisement reasonable chastisement now the question i'm asking you yes i've got him back the internet airwaves gather a call did you do the question i'm asking you is do you think it's right to hit a child for being naughty or when the child disagrees with you or why would you want to do that and when would you actually do that so do tell us about that give us your opinion on that very very interesting james allison gary heaps excellent welcome 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 you're watching scotty mcclue this is the big one of course now whatever's on the telly record that and watch scotty mcclue live all right don't be dashing off and putting anything on your telly if scotty mcclue's on because you can always have catch up on the telly i suppose you can have catch up with me on youtube but you're better to join us live now i'm quite willing to take some calls on this as well hello scotty i'm in wendy's pad she's got mine so there you are so it's coming up as wendy but of course it's actually derek a naughty child needs a scalp it never done me any harm says steph mac do you think a naughty child needs a scalp? Recording Big Brother just for you. Absolutely, Big Brother. Any of these things, you know, feel free to catch up later because Scotty McClure's on the night. Adults are playing you on Florida in the USA. Dinky too. Lovely to have us on in Florida in the USA. Too many spoiled kids. They need a slap as well as their parents. So there we are. People do, and that's up to them, but they're bad people. Don't think so. I got belted most weeks myself, and I wouldn't do it. No, not a good thing. Evening, Scotty. Can't stay long tonight. Just wanted to pop in and bid you a dinky do. Gavin Scott, Bob, thank you for that. Any reason you can't stay long? If it's television, as I say, feel free to record that and come and join Scotty McClure live. We're talking tonight about the chastisement of of young people is it right to smack a child when they are naughty right why would you want to do it agnes battled me last night with a poker i still love it a bit god still i have never heard so much nonsense in all my life i doubt agnes even has a poker so there you are uh, good evening scotty you on the other hand could have anything. Uh, good evening, good evening, Sharice. All right, Scotty and Salou, Brian Lafferty. Lovely to have you. Hi, Scotty, says Sharice Dinky Doo. William Hanna, lovely to have you with us tonight. We're talking about the chastisement of children. Is it right to smack a child and would you do it? And for my my throw my bonnet into the debate no i don't think so so there we are not right okay have a lovely time at work johnny strachan good evening it's right to slap a win says gavin scott but so there we are only as a last resort says wendy walker now what would constitute a last resort we need info kids these days get away with far too much they have no discipline or respect yes i got a smack when I was bad, says John Watt. Now, John, is that, though, a reason 
to give a child a smack. We continue that cycle of violent and abusive thinking. Good evening, Scotty. Hope you had a good week. I did indeed, Thomas, and I hope you had as well. Woo! Starting early tonight with the mop dunes. It's roasting hot in the studio. Uh, it's not right, Scotty. Uh, sausage fingers cut my post in half, says Gavin Scott Bart. You just be careful with your sausage fingers. Excellent stuff. Yes, a tap on the bum, never done any wrong. Got a shout was enough from my dad. There you are, wait till your dad gets home. Remember that one. David Hennessy, dinky do. William Hanna says no. So there you are. He uses a colloquialism, but he's saying no. Uh, good evening, Scotty. I paraphrased that for you, William. Uh, yes, didn't do me any harm, says Steve Burrows. Hello, Sherry, says Wendy. They're having their own wee show on the site. Hello from Hart Hill, from Mags and Chick. A shout out, please, from Margaret Ann Thompson. Margaret Ann Thompson, dinky do. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lot of them internet and the world's top broadcaster D. Gurley. I have four older children and I've slapped all four of them. To be honest, I don't think hitting children does any good. I think it teaches them that violence is the answer. When I was hit as a child, as she says, see more, but I can't see any more. So there we are. Karen Mercury, dinky do definitely not. Definitely not, says Vanessa Taylor. Good, Vanessa, but tell us why. Uh, hi from I, Ken Ken. Ken Ken, absolutely. Bertha King Patters watching. Dinky do, a lovely lady. Alistair McClellan, hello. Rob Dunn, good evening, says Karen Mercury. Good evening. The problem is the parents need a slap, says Brian. So there we are. No, just a word's enough, says Sharice. Good for you, Sharice. You've got the magic. The greatest show on the planet, says Marcus Casman. I thank you, Marcus. A lot of people are are saying that this is where broadcasting is going. We always tell our children, holiday in Florida, by God, it's warm, 90 degrees, missed half of that. We learned respect from and didn't dare misbehave, says Alistair King. I uh, didn't dare misbehave again. I was brought up army style. Uh, my dad was a military man. So there you are. My kids never, but never to agree. You have to resort to physical violence. Then your parenting skills, somebody who disagrees, missed that. Like your jumper, pal. Thanks for that, Thomas. Appreciate it. Children need a smack or they walk over it says William. So there you are. Now, you can't use an implement to smack a child, so are you quite happy to give your child a, a, a bit of a slap? And how do you go about that? Uh, I'd like Sharice to thrash me, says Gordon Sterling. Gordon Sterling, stop it. So there you are. Everyone should donate this show. It could go nationally. Absolutely, Marcus Gasman. If anybody wants to put some money into PayPal, then you'll see it on the Scotty McClure website. Never missed you on Scotty FM, says Brian Lafferty. Hi, Denise, says Stephen Dunn. I'm in talks with very senior people, guys, to bring you more and more Scotty McClure shows. Didn't do us any harm. I think it would do them the world of good, says Karen Mercury. Now, the UN has said that the children have got a lot of rights, but they don't have any responsibilities from that point of view, right? God and stop it. Honestly, best policy not to smack, so smart on it. Yes, but is that possible, smack? Is it possible not to smack? Yes, I would say yes, but what are we smacking for? Yes, what to find that out? Tony Max, what you think you do? Am I on the right channel? Says John Adams. Of course, John Adams. You're always on the right channel when you're watching Scotty McClue. You can never go wrong with Scotty McClue. Whoever has McClue has the market. The television companies need to wake up. We need you back in the airwaves, Scotty. I think the only people needing a smack are the bigwigs who haven't hired you for your own talk show. So there you are. There's a lot of big talent on the move at the moment. So there you are. Ten fours, the Sharice sure ten four. What am I hitting you with? One nine for a big check. Depends on the severity of the crime, Scotty. Should be a last resort, but every parent has a different discretion, says Jimmy Reynolds. Did your teacher give you the cane when you were a boy, Scotty? We got the strap, the Scottish strap. So there you are. Piece of very thick piece of leather. A quarter of an inch thick. Uh, Olivia not enjoying the chat about smacking. Don't worry, Olivia, it's just chat. There's no actual smacking on the show.
So there we are. But uh, we do con contain scenes of laughter. Uh, I will tell you that. Take the phone and the games off the kids, Scotty, if they're bad. Absolutely. Do you get a smack when you're bad, Scotty? Of course. Don't have a ridiculous question. You can still see it. <laughs> so there you go. Paul Carey's watching. I got a smack the moment I was born. So there you are. And uh, I think my dad did as well. Evening, Scotty. Are you replacing Alec McKish as the Scottish man, sir? Not tonight, Matthew Roberts, but thank you for asking. Stephen McNeely is watching Dinky Do. Davy O'Donnell is having a laugh. Excellent stuff. We like a laugh. Water here tonight, guys. Yes, we never had to smack yet, as our child understands. If they've done something wrong, we explain it. Is it wrong or right? So there we are. Couldn't be any worse, says Frank McCallum. She agrees with the parents, could do with the smacks, says Natasha Jane. Scotty McClure could do with a sip of water. So there you are. He's replacing uh, Nicholas Sturgeon as First Minister, says Gavin Scott Button. No, no, no. That's just a rumour that's doing the rounds. Oh, God. We've got Chucky here, says Cherise. Chucky at Dune, Chucky at Dune steroids. Agnes starts the morning with smacking me on the bus. This sets us up for a day of love. God and Sterling, what a strange ritual. There we are, but your private life is your own. Smack 10 to smack 10, smack 10, says Toth Bidden. Uh, what do you think will be in five years' time, says Grathilda? I don't know. We'll discuss it in five years' time. So there we are. Dinner of the dogs watching. My dad never hit me once, but he would shout at me very loud when I'd done wrong. When you did wrong. Raising your voice is enough punishment for a child. My two girls, when younger, argued over baby Annabelle. Before smack, I ripped the doll's head off. Oh, how how harsh. Smacked within reason, okay, in my book. Most of the crime these days was almost unheard of in our day. Underage drinking, taking drugs, mugging old people, robbing shops, they see they can get away with it. Right, well, they can't. Charles McLachlan was watching. Would a smack stop that, though? A good smack? Yes, my dad shouted. That was enough, says so Sharice. Absolutely! They were, stop that! Enough! Um, how old are you, says Grathilda? I'm 32, Grathilda. So, sorry, 34. I was 32 two years ago, which makes me 34 now. There we are. Gina McPhee is watching. Dinky do, Gina. Very warm welcome. You're all watching Scotty McClue, First Lord of the Internet, the world's top broadcaster. Tonight we're discussing the chastisement of children, right? My dad just needed to look at me. That was it, says Frank McConnell. gave you a look, didn't they? There you go. Um, a stare was enough. Then my mum would run off, says John Adams. You stared at your mother and she ran off. Right, what's he like? So there you go. Yes, the parents look. Do we still have the look? They're brainwashed at school. They're being taught the rights. It's ridiculous, says people on here. Evening, Scotty. Shout out to Scott and Stephanie and East Coast Bride. Of course, there's a difference between needing to discipline your wains if they're repeatedly disobeying, like running out in the road, uh, or violence, bullying, but it didn't do me any harm. My dad only hit me once <coughs> with a pool cue, and uh, Agnes broke his arm in self-defense and we went to court. God is silly. I've never had so much nonsense in all my life. You're reading a fantasy story there. My mum gave us the garden cane. It stung like hell, but we never did it again. My dad, Ramundus, can't miss that. The look of love, says John Adams. Justifiable assault should remain as a loophole. Criminalising parents for smacking a kid? Shocking, says Davy O'Donnell. So they are justifiable assault or a reasonable chastisement. A mommy's boy, Johnny. John Kinnear's watching. A very warm welcome. If you've just joined us, forget telly. Record that and watch it later. You've got the world's top broadcaster. You don't need anything else. All right. This is the new television. This is for you. Sunday night. Uh, a smack is the last resort, but sometimes necessary. Uh, so there we go. Uh, Raymond Benson and Arthur Davis, Dinky, do come and join us. You're watching Scotty McClure. Those of you who have never heard of me, God bless small C-O-T-T-I-E, that's the Scotty. Hi, Scotty, one look from my six-foot-four Irish dad, and I would be jumping out of the window. That's a shame if you lived in the top flat. Do you ever follow stock car racing, Scotty? Like race wall at County Beath. No, no, I drive a stock car, all right? It's not meant to be a stock car. It just is one, right? I think Anno Domini had something to do with it. Do you remember him? 
There's a big difference between a slap and a beating. The problem is parents can take it too far. What do you think? Well, then that would be child abuse. So there we are. That is very much a crime. But we need to know where is the line. No hitting kids have brought up the correct way. A talking to is enough. So she said, absolutely. My mum slapped me hard. I nearly voted Tory. There we go. Glad he came to my senses, says Greg MacArthur. Shirley Cooper's watching a smack reassert of authority when they're being unruly. I totally agree with a smack. Well, you used to get a whack in the backside when there's too much going. Stop it! Like that, you know? Uh, what do you drive, Scotty? A stock car. So there you are. Beat them with sticks, says Steve Taylor. No, Steve Taylor, you can't. Beat them with sticks. You cannot use an implement. So, wrong, 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 Excellent. Craig Johnson's watching. Thank you, Craig. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. One of the world's great broadcasters. Good evening, Scotty. This is Margaret MacDonald. Good evening, Margaret. A very warm welcome. Uh, a tractor, eh, Scotty? Meet. Uh, so, Steve Taylor, he's been a bit coarse there. I think what I'll do, Steve Taylor, I'll take that comment out, right, and I'll give you the red card. Okay, wrong way up. Right, I know it's yellow, but it's all we've got. And uh, I had to write back, which that's why the end was a mistake. But you're getting the red card. Uh, so there we are. And um, William Wallace, thank you, do. The world's gone mad. Talk to the winds. Can you show me your feet, please? No, I certainly cannot. So there we go. And uh, I'll just take that one down. Thanks very much. Sorry, one or two comments have to go there. The world's gone mad. Talk to the rain, says Charles Driver. Good stuff. Uh, do you think my dad's smart, says Gothilda? I would think so. Yes, if he uh, gave birth to you. Uh, well, your mum gave birth to you, you know, but your dad would be there. Uh, what do you think? You rank in all seriousness. Um... Amongst broadcasters in the UK, I would say I'm all right. You know, I mean, you know, I get the job done. I've always been very, very successful at everything I've done. I've had um, about 34 years at the top of broadcasting. There's a lot more to come. There's another 15 or 20 years of broadcasting still to do. And, uh, you know, I've been a bit held up by people assuming that folk wanted jukebox radio and didn't want any talk. So there we are. And uh, I also watch talk stations, and they're not getting any audience, and I know why, but I'm not going to spill on here. So there we are. Um, come on, come on, come on. Hello, ma'am, says Dandra Brown. Uh, Scotty, I get the belt at school almost every day. Boy, that stung. So Charles McLaughlin, terrible Charles, an awful Awful thing. Spread the word, guys. Time for a share. Share, 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 share. Share your Scotty McClue right now. Uh, Tony Mac, think he do? What are we getting here? Hold on. Uh, was it not abuse when teachers hit children with the belt in the old days? Well, yes, but it wasn't regarded as abuse then. Uh, take him off, Scotty. Yeah, we've sorted all that. He's gone. Come on, Scotty. Spill the beans. Come on. So there we are. Bring back the birch and a pants down thrashing. We used to thrash the wizard of the big switchboard live on air, you know, when it was allowed. Uh, so there you are. Good evening, Scotty. Can we have a shout out for Kelly and Steve Knowles from Shetland? We didn't really, but we, we fiend it. So there we go. Hello. Uh, is this the couch auction? A shanty. What we'll do, we'll give you a lifetime ban, a shanty. Bye. So there we are. We'll never, ever hear from Ashanti again. So that's it. John, what do you think of Legends, says Sharice? Well, you're watching one now, so you'll work it out. Did you used to get the belt at school, Scotty? Gary McGord? Yes. Don't tell anybody, but I did. So there you are. We got it from, I think, primary three onwards. So we'd be about eight when we used to get belted with a leather belt. Uh, so, for instance, if your child steals off you, what would be a suitable punishment if you can't smack them? So there we are. Hold on a wee second. There's Dondre Brown doing the couch thing. We'll, what we'll do is we'll just... This is a nuisance. These people are a nuisance. 
uh, but you've got to just block them. So there we are. Anybody coming on doing the couch thing will just get blocked, but please just go away because it's a terrible nuisance. You interrupt a very, very important broadcast. So your nonsense doesn't really do very good from that point of view. These silly people do my head in, they do mine in two shillies. So there are Steve Taylor will block you. So there we are. Steve Taylor's blocked. Okay. Guys, if you're coming on with any silly stuff, you'll just get a lifetime ban. All right. And for the couch, guys, red card. Dinky do, red card. Excellent stuff. Take their iPads off them. Uh, spill the beans, says Thomas Bedmus. The beans are spilt. McLean, can we have a more cheerier subject, please? Can we have Sherry Street some buns poetry? Or murder a few tunes on the piano? I might murder a few tunes for you later. There we are. And uh, everyone repent. Devote the heart to God. Be not led astray from Jesus Christ. Time is ticking. Deliverance must be made, says David Malam. Well said, David. Uh, so there we are. Armando Kakash, what we'll do with you, block you as well. And uh, well, there's a lot of sillies on tonight. Uh, take their iPads off them. That kills them, says Margaret McDonald. So there we are. Uh, I used to have a 6-4. Is that a pipe march? Uh, Spyro, Gary Porter, that's a TV program. Bates, John, used to have a six, four, oh, six foot four carpenter teacher, Scotty. He had a smack on him. He had bigger hands. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Who have we got here? Tell the world, Scotty, who are the jukebox merchants. No, no, a lot of radio stations are the jukebox merchants, and they're not doing any proper local voice, speech, phone in, Broadcasting, and they need to do that. Any radio station that wants to survive in the 2019s, 2020s, needs to look at doing a talk show, right? Hola, says Elaine Costello. Hola, Elaine. That awkward moment when you find out Harry Nollis, lifetime ban. There we go. Block Harry. He's gone. We'll never hear from Harry again. Uh, oh, you're banned for that. Yeah, yeah, Karen. Yeah, absolutely. Swatch Scotty, says Sharice. Swatch watch or a swatch. There we are. Very good. A swatch. A swatch. Excellent stuff. Uh, Ian Whitelaw, a tap on the bum is the last resort. Shout out to my mum. There they are. Mum didn't do us any harm. We didn't have iPads or phone computers. All we had outside was you got grounded. It was awful watching your pals playing outside from the bedroom. Happy birthday to Century 105. Andy Taylor, thank you. Yes, indeed, Century 105. I remember my P7 teacher threw a wooden dust at my head. She was German. So there you are. I know they like discipline, but she was strict. So there we are. So excellent stuff. Um, wonderful, Greg. I mean, that is quite a story, I have to say. Guys, if you've just joined me, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, uh, paddling right up to 21, says Ian Hales. This is indeed the 20th anniversary of the launch of Century 105 Radio in the northwest of England 20 years ago. You used to have a maths teacher who used to pull... Missed that. So there we are. I mind my science teacher locked us in the room, says Charisse. So there we are. And uh, she adds that she was Chinese. I don't know what that's got to do with anything. But there we are, an observation. Uh, I think Eddie Mayer's first week on LBC said Dino the Doug. Yes, we'll not talk about that, Dino. I'm sure it was very good. What you're doing is voicing an opinion. Danny McHugh's watching. Lots of pinheads on tonight, Scotty. There are Thomas Pedden. But don't worry, we will give them a lifetime ban if they don't respond to a yellow card. Uh, Peter Paris watching. Welcome, Peter. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. A very warm welcome. Now, how are we doing share wise? Right, we need to keep sharing, guys. Very, very important. Tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10 about Scotty McClure broadcasting live on Facebook Live. You used to pull your hair, Scotty, until you answered a question. Oh, they used to pull your hair. Yes, they did. Yes, I was upset last week with Silver. Peter Parrott, love of the show. Can we move on to topic two, the history of the Scottish bus group? Ah, I can go back to link lines, Gordon Sterling. I bet you can't. So there you are. What about that? Wonderful. Yes, and I remember going to interview 
Mr. Alexander, oh, there you go. Your eyes are popping out your head like organ stops. Our kids all need discipline. Kids need to think no more than us. So how does talking to them resolve the situation? We ain't share for around five minutes. Not we ain't, we don't, John Adams. Sorry to act the grammarian, but there you go. Guys, never mind television, whatever's on television. If it's exciting drama, if it's the darts, or that, watch it later. Watch Scotty McClure live. Dinky do. This is the big one. Where's Eddie Doby Senior tonight, says Thomas Biden. I don't know. I am not my brother's keeper, Thomas Biden. Walter Alexander. Yes, indeed, Gordon. I knew him. Him well, so there we are. Yes, um, he actually that wasn't his first name, or well, that wasn't the name he was known by. Uh, John, did you go to school? Yes, lovely picture behind you. Can we have a tail? Says Margaret Ann Thompson. Yes, um, that's uh, my graduation photo. So there you are, a second graduation. I graduated in 1980. And I graduated again in 1992. So there you are. Um, Eddie was here a few minutes ago, says Karen Mercury. Excellent, Karen. Dinky do. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Guys, take the URL, the little address off the bar at the top. Send that round when you're sharing as well. Nope, says John Adams. Nope, what, John Adams? We don't know what you're talking about. Gordon Main, Stephen Brown, we've moved on. We move on at a terrific rate on this program. So here, peeps, says Eddie Dovey Senior. Excellent, Eddie. Eddie, where are you? There we are. They've put out. She's doing a bit of pantomime for you, Eddie. Alexandro Cathenda Hernandez is watching. Think you do, see, Alexandro. Uh, what happened to your paw, Scotty? There we are, my paw, meaning my father, or my own paw. What did you study, McClue? Dramatic studies. So there you are. Thomas, what are you on? More kids' clubs need to instill discipline and team play. Didn't do us any harm, says Greg McArthur. Yeah, but how many kids' clubs are there these days? A lot of people don't want to be youth leaders because there's so much paperwork. Good evening, Scotty. Stephen Bart McDowell, Dinky Doo. Has anyone phoned yet? No deed of the dog. You will be the first. So there we are. Get on it. You can phone on Messenger if you want to talk to Scotty McClure. I'm just going to do a quick share, guys. Very important to share. So there we are. Quick share. Share, 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 share. Share to the group. After school, the youth club so goes, Scotty. Good. Yes, we need that. What about the scouts, the brownies, the beavers, the girl guides, the um, crusaders, the youth club, the church, all that stuff. Hi, I'm McClure, says Thomas Pedden. Absolutely. After school, it's youth club, says Sharice. Is this great for all of you? The kids stay up when the people come home from bingo says Wendy Walker now. Yes, now should bedtime be enforced a bit more strictly? Yes, they still go to Scotty's and Sharice. Good. Excellent, Sharice. You know your stuff. You're a mother. Am I correct? So there we are. And a very good mother you will be. Uh, we have marching bands here for the kids, says Julianne Scott. Yes, I believe Scotland's got one or two of these as well. I went to high school. It was up a big hill, says Eddie Doby Senior. I know the kind of thing. Uh, I was always told to say what I think my teachers when I did. I got put in detention. Not fair. What do you think? No, no. I was the same as you, Tony Mac. I, I was told honesty was the best policy. Well, somebody said, who did this? I said, I did. And got walloped. So there you are. Graham Meek is watching. Thank you, Graham. Lovely to have you with us. Different bands here, says Julianne Scott. I know you do the brass bands. Lovely. Lovely. The, from the Welsh Valleys, you have the brass bands. And you have the old colliery bands. Are there some of those still on the go, I say? Julianne Scott. Uh, Sharissa's laughing her head off. Are you buckled? Are you buckled, hen? So there we go. We have a shadow behind the clue tonight. Is that right, guys? We have a shadow there. Am I in shadow? I ask you. So there we go. Wonderful stuff. Uh, Kirsten Dougal's watching. Think you do? Still going? Yes, they are. Says Julianne Scott. Excellent. Very good for young people to be a member of a brass band. I worked a lot in uh, Yorkshire and in Lancashire. 
very big on their brass bands. Yes, bedtime should come into force. My school had outdoor toilets freezing in winter, trying to do a wee, says Martin. If you'd been trying to do a big, it would have been more freezing, I would have thought. Howland, Scotty, Howland. So there we are. Uh, no, sorry, Highland. Do you mean Highland? So there we are. Sharish, your kids are great, says Wendy Walker. Excellent. Ellie Halford, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to Sunday night with Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. Show number one hundred and eleven tonight, guys. Uh, I used brass on my tailpipes in my car, says Sharice. Brasso on the tailpipes of your car. Right, okay. I don't think they're brass. Uh, marching carnival display bands my kids went to. Excellent. Very good. Have you ever seen the Edinburgh tattoo? What about the poor teachers, Scotty? The kids on the mobiles. Ban the mobile. Right. Charles Diver, very, very good point there. Yes, I think don't have, don't allow mobiles in schools. So there we are. Sandra Kinlock's watching Dinky Doo. Get Snapchat, Scotty, says Thomas Ben. I'm on everything else, Thomas Ben. I'm on Twitter. You can follow Scotty McClue on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. I'm on LinkedIn. If you want to join me on LinkedIn, you can. I'm on YouTube. You join me on YouTube. I'm on Google+. Plus. I'm on Facebook. So there we are. I think we're doing quite well. I'm also on um, Patreon as well. So you want to be a, a patron for Scotty McClue. Do you remember Pink Carbolic Soap? I use it, Greg MacArthur. Yes, I use the soap. Very nice. Life Boy Soap was the one. Brasso Scotty for the shine. Yes, Sharice, I do understand. I know what Brasso is. I have quite a lot of brass and copper, but it's taxing me and vexing me a bit. I remember tracing paper as loo paper. Yes, you did. You got that uh, slightly medicated stuff. We won't mention the name. Scotty, you get about, eh? Oh, I get about. So there we are. Lived in Yorkshire, lived in Aberdeen, lived in Carlisle, lived in Edinburgh, lived in Manchester, lived in London, lived in Preston, lived in Newcastle. There you are. Get Snapchat and Instagram. I've got Instagram as well, Thomas Bin. So there you are. So I don't really think I'm missing out too much, but I will have a look at the Snapchat at some point and see if we think it will help the show. Where are you now, Sir Sharice? I'm back in Scotland, Sharice, having a glass of water with you on a Sunday night and saying, Dinky Doo. Mobiles at the doctor's. I still denied it when I got a clout in the lug, so no good. Where are you ever tempted? To hit the teacher back. No, no, no. Our teachers had served in the Second World War. They were commandos and lieutenant commanders and submarines and all that. Uh, so there we go. Uh, same house, says uh, Charisse. So there you go. No, I mean, if you live in all these different cities, you're living in a different house. Uh, and now living in Possel, says John Adams. Yes, very right. Well, I'm saving up for Possel. So there we are. Very, very important. I uh, went into the estate agents and I said, I'd like a house in Possel. They said, how much are you prepared to spend? This is 10 grand. They said, how many would you like? Uh, one, 111 is known as a Nelson in cricket. I never went to school, Scott. It was full of nuggets, says Matthew Roberts. No, were you governessed at home, Matthew? You were what we call homeschooled. So there you are. That's Grey Goose. Uh, so they are. And do you know what a grey gull is? What part of the world a grey gull or a duker might come from? Uh, Scotty, read the comment, promise. No, no, you've had enough read just now. Uh, did you ever watch Bring Back Bostels with Professor David Wilson? Instead of prison, you got sent to Bostel. Yes, list D schools. I remember them. Nine years in a bungalow, Scotty. Very good. Do you miss going upstairs? Um, I'm going to Preston Pans next week. Have I got the name right? The Pans. You've gone to the Pans, Elaine. Excellent stuff. Actually, you'll have a nice time at the Pans. They're half a good folks. So they are. Uh, Kenny Gray is watching Dinky Doo. Yes, Elaine. Correct, pal. So, Sharice, excellent. Sharice, thank you for that. So there we go. Um, Sharice, we can't read every comment you write. Otherwise, you take over the show. Nobody else gets a look in, and I get it in the neck. Scotty, can you know get her off the show? All that sort of stuff. So all I'm saying is moderation. 
Moderation, my dear. So there we are. What a lovely way to put it, eh? Do you like that? So there we go. Excellent stuff. Thanks, Scotty, she needs says Elaine. No problem. Uh, so uh, there we are. The say I will have yin. So there we are. Yes, well, yin lump. You'd have yin lump. You know, I mean, uh, if somebody's made a wee bit of money in Edinburgh, you still can't take the Edinburgh out of them, you know, and they say, would you tack tea? Does you tack sugar? And does you tack yin lump at all? So there we go. Wonderful stuff. Quick swatch round here. There we go. Just to make sure we're all nice and super dry. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful, wonderful. There we are. Welcome, welcome. Scotty McClure, the World's Top Broadcaster, live on Facebook, just for you, dinky do. Uh, what do you think of getting the army into schools for dealing with troublesome kids? Well, we shouldn't really have troublesome kids. We need to find out where these troublesome kids come from and why. Light of the mood with a wee tune, Scotty. Well, I've just got the discussion going, Alistair, you know, but we can't have a bit of variety. Bring back national service could be a good thing for kids, says Jimmy Reynolds. Uh, so there you are. That's you tell, sure is. Scotty will give you the belt next. Not at all. Not at all. Wonderful contributor, but just not every single post, you know what I mean? She's got to sort of say to herself, it's not all about me, you know? Evening, Scotty's the Scotsy Fruit, Dinky Doo, Elaine Costello's in a panic. Had roast chicken for dinner tonight, says Wendy, very nice. Uh, you need to get yourself a lackey <coughs> to mop you down, Scotty. No, no, that's old British Empire stuff. That's out of fashion. Like a whip, says Sharice. No, Sharice, you can't use an implement. Valerie McLennan's watching. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Do you take salt and sauce in your chips? No, no, uh, salt only. I don't do sauce. I don't do vinegar. Sometimes I'll do a wee dash of Worcester when I get home, if I'm taking them in. I miss your Glasgow show from the 90s, says Tom Skelding. Tom Skelding, there's negotiations on with very important people, so don't think that that's the last you've heard of that. So there we are. That apostle joke made my wife laugh. That's an achievement, says Charles McLachlan. So there you go. Um, no, I get a laugh every morning, Charles McLachlan. I just... Look in the mirror. I love vinegar and salt. Elaine Costello is all smiley now. Have the kids now rule the parents? Well, no, they shouldn't do. Uh, had a snowball cake. So there you go. Um, it was brilliant, says Tom Skelding. Yes, I know, Tom, but we'll be doing a lot more of that. It's 20 years since we launched Century 105. When I left Scotland, people thought that I'd gone off air. I just went to a bigger station. Worcester sauce, very posh. Worcester sauce, very nice. Yes, it is. I didn't want to mention the company, but obviously you'll know who they are, the Worcester sauce company. Oh, that's better. Very nice. Excellent stuff. Uh, Wendy, did it have coconut on it? So there we are. Coconut. Do you remember the coconut? Excellent stuff. Do you remember the five boys chocolate? Who can remember five boys? Uh, Nick Baldy, kid. Uh, Christopher Love, hello. Hello, Christopher Dinky Do. They just need a clip round the ears, says David Clark. Now, that could deafen a child. Very true, Stevie. Uh, I like pot noodle on a piece. Says Greg MacArthur. <laughs> Greg MacArthur, you're at it. Have you ever had a McClue's pie on a piece? That would be better for you. I say, I'm going to sit back a bit. There you are. You're getting too much for your money. Hi, Nick Baldy. Dinky do, says um, the quiet lady. Is that Voddy? Says John Adams. No, no, no. It was sad you left Scottish radio waves, but you made a career choice that suited you. Yes, and who knows? Um, is that... A cooking, is this a cooking show, Scotty? Yes, yes, Alistair. What I do is I put a dash of this in with the flour, right, when I'm doing bread making. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite liberal with it. I give it a good shake, you know. I want to get the best bread. So there we are. Pot noodle in a piece, that's the heave. No, no, not necessarily. It depends what you're doing. I don't know. Uh, I've never actually had a pot noodle. So there you are. Martin Monaghan, dinky do. Ray Hivey, dinky do. Ha ha, says Alistair King. Ha ha, Alistair King. Right. You lot need to be sharing and sharing and sharing and telling 10. Take the URL off the top of the page, right? Right click on the page address. Send it round everybody. Come on. Get on with that. I can see who's sharing. So share, 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 share.
Hi, Scotty, says Martin Morrigan. Hello, Martin, thank you, do. Damper bread, you can't eat, beat it. Yes, very nice. Brings out the smell. Had a macaroon bar today. Yes, wonderful. We used to enjoy these. A roll and crisps, says David Clark. So there you are. And... Um, Oh, no, we're not having to. Damn it, pal, says Thomas. Thank you, Thomas, very much. Please. Scotty, get a cookbook on the go. Yes, and maybe a, a wee bit of Mrs. Beaton or something like that. Do you remember Mrs. Beaton's cookery book? Huge stuff. Fantastic. How to do, they used to do, it was out of the old country houses. They taught you how to do pheasant and all that stuff. Use lemon juice and your knife handles. Call it the flower of Scotland, FLO you are. John Adams, you are a wee scream. You really are. Can you give Anne-Marie Lafferty a mention, says Brian Lafferty. I think I could. Um, so there we are. Yes, I could say, Anne-Marie Lafferty, I'm mentioning you. Because Brian Lafferty has asked me specifically so to do. So there we are. And did you do? Uh, do you know what a Glasgow salad is, Scotty? Is it something like a kiss? So there we are. Uh, tomato sauce in ready salted crisps. Very nice. Uh, if I'm busy, I just butter the outside of a well-fired roll. And what do you do? Chuck it in the bin. Uh, so there we are. Martin Morrigan, Tudor Chris advertising. Uh, Mrs. Beaton died at 25. So there we are. I thought she lived at 30. But there we go. Uh, Minor piece, Alistair. Uh, do Scotch rolls here? Uh, yes, the Scotch roll. Yes, absolutely. It's a cob, not a roll says Steve Burroughs. So there we are. Right, Marie Boyle McNeely, lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Even had a piece and sugar. So there you are. Uh, odd because she lived at number 12. I know we've just done that with Elaine. Well done. Keep up, dear. Very important. A Glasgow salad's a plate of chips. Yes, that's one of my five a day. So there you are. Drat, says Elaine. Sorry, Elaine. Good stuff, though. Excellent. We do like it. And you did try. And it was noticed and appreciated. All right. A bap is called, says Julianne Scott. Yuck. Uh, salt and shake crisps with a wee salt bag inside. Remember, the wee blue twist of salt, you had to search for it. Then you put it on. I never felt there was enough salt in the wee blue bag. What do the rest of you think? Ah, says Karen Mercury. Tar, says Elaine Costello. Tar as in thank you. That would be tar as in T-A. I love baps, says Matthew Roberts. Hi, Chanel, my dear friend. Think you do there having a conversation of their own. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. Sunday night, nothing gets past me. You're watching Scotty McClue, the World Stop Broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, with the Scotty McClue show number 111. If this is your first show, you've missed the other 110. But you can catch up on youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue 1. All right. Uh, I also eat pot noodle dry. Oh, no, that's not good for you. Uh, when the teenage mutant hero turtles were the rage, I had a melted marshmallow and chocolate pizza. Sounds absolutely gorgeous. So there we go. I phoned the pizza shop. He says, hi, pizza for all, Mark speaking. How can I help? I said, have a guess, Mark. So there you are. So hi to my friend, Chanel. I shall do. What's this about, says Caleb Nicholson. Caleb Nicholson, this is the Scotty McClure Show, and it's about you. And it's about world unity, bringing everyone together on Facebook at the same time every Sunday night, 9 o'clock sharp, British summertime, soon to change to Greenwich Mean Time. Black pudding soup's very popular in the East End, says Martin Monaghan. Are you sure it's soup? So there you are. Karen Mercury, ha 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 She's doing a wee, one of these wee laughing things. What do you call these again? When you put up a wee thing that's laughing. I'm not mad on them. So there we are. No, you don't want a dry pot noodle, folks. Keep your pot noodles nice and moist. Keep them moist. We touch of this on your pot noodles. So there you are. Starbrook's strawberry and cream milkshake is lush. If anyone wants to know, says Elaine. Very good, Elaine. Advertising. An emoji. 
emojis. Uh, preferred a baked tatty in the open fire. Very nice. Toasting at the fire. Emoji. Yeah, we've got that. What's this about, please, says Caleb Nicholson. I've just told you. It's about world unity. The whole world comes together on a Sunday night to watch Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live. That's what it's about. And we talk. We have social intercourse. Hiya, pals, is John Adams. I asked a waitress in a Newcastle cafe if she had big baps and she slapped me. So there you are. Yes, I think they're called stotties. So if you'd asked her if she had big stotties, you might have got less of a slap. So, all right, thank you, says Caleb. No, not at all, Caleb. You're very, very welcome. It's a very, very popular program. And come and discuss things with us. So there you are. Had tripe and onions. Lovely, Steve Burrows. I've never had tripe and onion. I saw a friend of mine washing it and cooking it. Oh, la, la, says Elaine Costello. She speaks French. I think she might be French. Remember Zest Soap and Cami? Yes, now who did the Cami? Was it Katie Boyle did the advert for Cami? How did your parents discipline you, Scotty, your mum or dad? So there we are. They just, just a, a quick look, you know. So there we are. You're fair swigging down that vodka, Scotty. So there you go. It's water. What's the subject, says Caleb? Caleb. You need to be with us at 9 o'clock sharp. The subject is, should we chastise children or should we ban the chastisement of children? That's the subject. That's one of them. But we discuss all sorts on here. Tripe is rank. No, tripe is tripe. So there you go. Rank's a different thing. Um, John A. Ban Scotty. Tripe, yuck, says Karen Mercury. Well, no, not everybody says yuck. Partly it was a very standard fare for ordinary folk. There's a lot of people eat the tripe, you know. Love Scotty Chenille, says Sharice. Thank you, Sharice. Shut at you, says John Adams. So they are. Who are you talking to, John Adams? We don't tell each other to shut it on here. So there you are. Or you'll get a chastisement. You'll get the red card. Oh, I know it's yellow, but it's the red card. So there you are. Um, larva bread is horrible. Well, no larvae. So there you don't want larvae anywhere near your bread, dear. That's um, sort of like unborn flies. So there you are. Uh, Derek loves tripe in a sandwich, says Wayne. <laughs> a tripe sandwich. A lot of bampots talking tripe tonight, says Greg MacArthur. One or two, Greg, but a lot of sensible people as well. Do you know the dog? My oven's broken down. I know the feeling, do you know? Me too. Uh, thanks, Karen, says Steve Burrows. Doodly do, says Caleb. Doodly do, Caleb. Lovely to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. And keep on watching Scotty McClure, because it's information, education, and entertainment at its very finest. I love a good haggis supper. Welcome, says Karen Mercury. She's welcoming Caleb. Need to get you some red post-it notes. Yes, I'll have a look for some. I think I've got some. Tripe is amazing if you've got it with liver. Liver. liver and tripe. Anybody have liver and tripe, guys? Uh, you're watching Scotty McClure. Come and join us, Dinky Doo. Am I too far away or not far enough away or too close? Do spill. The smell of tripe was enough for me when my granny made it. Can't stand the smell. What's the smell like? Describe it, Alistair King. Let's do a bit of smelly vision and tell us what the tripe was like. <laughs> says Karen Mercury. Have I spelled that right, Karen? Or have I said it right? Thank you, says Caleb. No, you're very welcome, Caleb. Lovely to have you with us. No, Scotty, not together. So you don't have tripe and liver together. Liver's not bad. I had sirloin steak tonight, says John Adams. Excellent stuff, John Adams. So there we go. Hang on a wee second. Just broadcasting at the moment, but whoever you are, I send you lots of love. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Wonderful. So there we are. What a lovely person. I don't know who that was. There you go. And uh, liver with flavour beans and a wee Chianti. That's the polis, says John Adams. I know. I need to keep the noise down, okay? So keep it down a bit, for goodness sake. Or we'll get there all before you. Answer the phone, says Dave Glad. I did, David. I've answered it. Liver, bacon, onions, and mashed potatoes. 
Well, there we are. Liver, bacon, onions, and mashed potatoes. Good night, pal. Have a good week. See you soon. Is that the wife saying good night, Scotty? Uh, no, she's downstairs, and uh, she doesn't say good night. She says good morning. Excellent stuff. HMRC, Sir David Clark. No, no, I don't think that's them. Um, and Asbord says, I really hate mushrooms, says Caleb. Right, well, we'll not give you any mushrooms, Caleb, when you're on here. You used to have a sugar and butter piece. So there we are. Excellent stuff. There's a big independence rally at George Square next Saturday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. For the first time in a while, SNP MSPs will take the stage. Indy 2 is closer, says Martin Monaghan. So there you are. Uh, does anybody go on the rallies for independence? You may get a clip round the lug from Mrs. McClure. Had some burry black pudding this morning. Best I've ever tasted. Johnny Butler. I can remember going up to open the, the Burry Market and um, I got black puddings at Burry Market. Fantastic. When I was down at 105 and a lovely old lady, 85, she'd got up at 5 o'clock in the morning from Liverpool and got five buses to come and see Scotty McClure because she loved listening to the radio at night. Is that not fab? Does that not tell you why I broadcast. All right. They are fruit and nut. And we joined all the Century Radios together for the Scotty McClue Hogmanay Bash. So you'd be almost 10 million people could have been listening to that program. And a lady phoned up from Richmond in Yorkshire. And uh, she actually said at the end of the night, this is fantastic. She said, it's, it's one of the best programs I've ever heard. I didn't realize programs like this still existed on radio. So there you go. Cullen Skink is my favourite. Greg McArthur, excellent. John Niner, be nice. Aww, says Elaine Costello. David Elwood's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to hear from you. Excellent stuff. And a big wave. Woo! There we are. That's what we like. What's your favourite trippy, Scotty? The Alhambra and Bells Hills, tremendous. Lovely advert there for the Alhambra. Caramac. So there we are. The Stephen Bob's nice colour. Remember seeing a friend who had a Caramac coloured Daimler. It was that sort of, you know, brown colour. Wonderful. Always nice, doll. Love Caramac, says Karen Mercury. Wonderful. Wonderful. What's your most memorable call, Scotty? Gary McCord, there has been so many. There have been thousands over the last 26 years. and um, But a lot of them are up on YouTube if you want to have a listen and tell me what you think. So there we go. Um, Sharice says Alhambra's in Dunfermline. Thanks for that, Sharice. Very good. Not as good as Tony's in Wishy, says Greg McCarthy. Excellent. We voted against independence. Why don't some people accept democracy? I think the whole thing is, Charles McLaughlin, that the politicians need to step back from it. A lot of that vote went against independence because you had ex-prime minister and chancellor frightening people. They need to back off and stop that sort of stuff. That should be banned and saying, no, no, you can't influence the people. They have to decide themselves. Just give out the pure facts. Same as the EU referendum. So both these referenda, I would say, have actually failed. So there you go. Um, Anne's Fry, the best chip in the Gorbals. So David Clark, thanks. We're okay, guys. We don't need to start advertising all the chippies around Scotland, even although I'm sure the owners will be delighted. Fantastic. So there you go. Wonderful stuff. There are some great chippies there. One of our finest fare. Yorkshire, very big on the chippies. Lancashire as well, superb. Beautiful chips in Preston. So there you are. I can't stand listening to the radio nowadays. It's a constant loop of the same songs. I mostly listen to podcasts, says Charles Thompson. I know, if they're hoping to get audiences, I think, though, the luck's running out with all that now. Radio's got to wise up and realise that they need to be local and they need to involve a phone-in, you know? So there we go. Uh, this site's making me want some. This is making me want to eat something, says Shanil Murphy. Think you do. Uh, yes, he was, Karen, says Sharice. What was that? What's that, Sharice? Yes, he was. You've got me there now, for goodness sake. How are we doing for time? We're probably getting a bit close to closing time. 
I say, what a fabulous show it's been tonight. Wish I'd known my favourite actor, says Karen Mercury. Absolutely, yes, yes, very big name, Scotty McClure. My friend's always trying to get me to try his creamy cockaleeky soup, says Martin Markin. There we go, very nice, yes, the cockaleeky, you can't beat it. Uh, Ian Johnson, dinky do. And uh, Tom Hanks was at Insta says Karen Mercury. Did you like my pronunciation there, Karen? I'm not as daft as I look, which is a good job. You're in the hat for BBC Radio 2, Scotty. Hopefully Derek Miller. Would you like to hear Scotty McClue broadcasting in the morning on Radio 2? Doing the old Wogan slot. Ha ha! Ha ha, me hearties. So there you are. 10.55, Scotty. Excellent. Five minutes to go. 9.55 it is, Alistair. Is that right? Where are you? Where are you getting 10.55, Alistair King? Uh, lol says Caleb absolutely Caleb I thought you'd enjoy it if you just stuck with us say goodnight to Kim for me Scotty says Margaret McDonald goodnight Kim dinky do take care had a sausage in the bus with uh, Clint Eastwood so there we are Insta what you on son and Struthers Insta there we are uh, Elvis works in a chippy and fife says Greg MacArthur so there we are uh, Chanel, Chanel Murphy yes he is cool I love him who are you talking about Elvis can you say hello to Wendy yes says Wendy but it's not Wendy it's actually um, it's uh, Derek Greg Shue alright Scotty says Jamie Jewishy there were Matthew Roberts aha uh -huh. aha uh -huh. Scotty, that's my lingo. Insta, absolutely. Thank you, says Margaret McDonald. Not at all, Margaret. Thank you, I say, from Scotty McClure, saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Stephen McFarlane's watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching the Scotty McClure show number 100. And 11. If you've missed the first 110, then you'll get them on YouTube. Uh, the clock's wrong, Scotty. Sorry, an hour fast for some reason. Yep, you're, you're hurrying us up. You're chasing the year away, Alistair. Caleb Nicholson, W, dinky day to you. Big improvement on Chris Evans, if you get the gig, Scotty, says David Turner. Oh, it's all opinion, isn't it? I mean, Chris Evans has done a fabulous Fabulous job, because following Sir Terry, not for the faint-hearted, there we are. But uh, this is brilliant. Well done, Scotty, says Elaine Costello. My house is stinking, Scotty, says Dino the Duck. Well, I'm going to tell you what, Dino. There you are. I prefer you on the radio in the afternoon. I don't get up till late, says Steve Burrows. Catch you next week, Scotty. I'm away to my scratcher. You're away to your Margaret, Matthew. Rhyming th thlang. Rhyming flang, there you are. Excellent. Your Margaret, your Margaret Thatcher, your scratcher. Excellent stuff. Waiting on the tunes. We need the squeeze box back, says Alistair King. I know, Alistair, and I haven't played you a tune tonight on the uh, on the organ, have I? Say hello to Uncle Hugh Thompson watching from the north. Love from Chicken Mags, says Charles Thompson. Absolutely, Chick. Scotty, his pit. He's away to his pit. That's right, he's going to pit himself in his pit. I'm away for a special fish supper. I'm Hank Marvin, says Greg. Absolutely, Greg, I understand. Caleb, what's your favourite food, Scotty? I like so many foods of the world. So there we are. Anybody ever had a haggis burger? Uh, oh, Scotty, don't mention her name, says Matthew Roberts. No, no, we can't acknowledge her. One of the worst things she did, apart from everything else, was get rid of the P4B rovers. So there you are, these lovely big black rovers, uh, because she thought she was going to look inelegant getting out of them, if you get my meaning. You know what I mean? And uh, she thought everybody would be getting an Eiffel, you know, that sort of thing, as an Eiffel Tower. And Caleb says, woo! Woo, Caleb! dinky do. so there you are. He's enjoying it. Roy Brownlow has just joined us. Welcome, welcome, Roy. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. another great show again, Scotty. So Steve Burrows, dinky do. The witch is died. Yes, fried Mars bar. Scotty, goodbye, everybody. Good night, cheerio, says Sharice. Scotty, okay, respect you, pal. God bless, waiting on the song. The song, are we ready? Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. 
Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of wheat or zane, au revoir, and a cheery o. Thanks for joining us, folks. What a fabulous show tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed being with you. What a privilege, I say. This is Scotty McClue saying to every single one of you, join us next Sunday at 9 o'clock sharp, live on Facebook Live, GWWP. God willing, weather permitting. Until then, this is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to all of you. Dinky-doo!